exporting is really, really vital. Let me just remind people, I started off as a tiny Sheffield business and when people used to say, what sort of business are you? I'd say, well, I'm a global business with an office in Sheffield. And I always remind people, I'm an entrepreneur, and I remind other people to say, you know, you're a business, it doesn't matter where your office is, but you've got to have a global thought. So, for example, my company, all these years later, we export our knowledge, our expertise around the world. We're just about to open a great big new thing in India. We're already in Australia and Poland and 11 other countries. So it's really vital. Don't limit your vision. And guess what? Go to all the embassies and all the trade people and all the people that we pay our tax for and ask and demand that they help you do it. There's my top tip. Growth and exports are really important to the UK. If we just see ourselves as the UK and we spend loads and loads of time going round and round the same stuff, we're not going to get out of the situation we're in. We have to think globally, we have to send our knowledge, our expertise and our products around the world and bring the money back in. We have to do this thing. I come to events like the CBI and annual conferences because you might just hear something that will inspire you to do something different tomorrow than you wouldn't have done today. And that's what business is about. Business is about doing something new tomorrow that you wouldn't have done today. So you can come to a conference like this and hear those, that one thing. You think, right, I now know what I'm going to do tomorrow. And that could be the start of your business exporting. Like, let's hope, let's freaking imagine, imagine this. The CBI is going on and on about exporting. If 200 people in this room today, out of the hundreds that are here, do something about exporting tomorrow, this will have been a great success, not only for the conference, but for the UK. I've been in business for 24 years, 25 years next year in 2012. And, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, every year is challenging. And everyone always asks me what the main challenges are. You know what, I don't know what some of them are yet. I really don't. I think raising money is going to be difficult. I think it's going to be really tough. I think that there's a nervousness out there still. I think that, um, but for me, it's whether I can attract good people to help me grow a business. I'm doing all right with that at the moment. So actually I'm quite pleased with that.